In this video, I'll show you how to find comparable tracks and models using our advanced search tools. In my basic search video, I showed you that searching on street name, track name, or builder track code are specific searches, and that searching on any of these other items are general searches. All advanced searches begin with a general search. Let me show you an example. My subject tract is a gated community in Irvine, and I want to make a list of all the gated tracts in Irvine. So for city, I'll enter Irvine and click Go. And this brings up the subsearch form. It's similar to the subsearch form we saw before, but if you're a premium member, you'll notice something different. At the bottom of the form, there are two buttons, the advanced track search button and the Advanced Model Search button. I'm going to make a list of comparable tracks, so I'm going to click on the Advanced Track Search button. And this brings up the Advanced Track Search form. The form shows us we're searching in the city of Irvine, and I'm going to make a list of all the gated tracks. So for gated, I'm going to click on Yes, and then I'm going to click on the Get Tracks button. And here's our results page. Our criteria is we're looking in the city of Irvine and we want to select only the gated tracks. The form shows us it found 54 tracks. Let's narrow this down. I'm going to click on the back button. And here we are back at the advanced track search form. Even though I'll be making a slight modification, it's always best to clear the form. So I'm going to click on the Clear Form button. This time, for Gated, I'll click Yes. For Pool, I'll select Yes. Spa, Yes. Tennis, Yes. And now let's get our tracks. Here's our results page. Here's our criteria. And the form found 14 tracks. If I wanted to see the details of any of these tracks, I would simply click on the track name. As you can see, you can create your own list of comparable tracks by selecting a combination of any of the features on this form. Now let's do an advanced model search. In this example, my subject is the Cambridge model in University Park. This is a one-story plan with three bedrooms and a formal dining room. It's approximately 1,650 square feet, and it has a two-car garage. I'm going to make a list of all the comparable models in University Park that have these features. So for area name, I'll enter University Park, and click Go. Here's the subsearch form. And it shows that our criteria is the area of University Park. And it shows that it found 11 tracks. Remember, I'll be making a list of comparable models from these 11 tracks. I'll click on the Advanced Model Search button. And this brings up the Advanced Model Search form. For bedrooms, I'm going to select three. I'm going to input 1,500 here, and let's go up to 2,000. For garage, I'll select two car. It's a one story, so I'll click on one level here. It has a formal dining room, so I'll check this box here, and I'll click on Get Models. And this brings up the Advanced Model Results page. Here's our criteria. The area is University Park. We're looking for three bedrooms. We're looking in the range of 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. All are going to be one story with a formal dining room and two car garage. The program shows us it found five models that meet this criteria. And here's a list of all the models. And here's a list of all the tracks that these models are located in. This is our subject. It's located in the Village One tract. And I see here's another Cambridge. It's located in a different tract. It's 1,527 square feet. This next one, 1,600 square feet, is pretty close to our subject. 
It's the Hanover plan and it's located in the Village 2 track. So I'm going to take a look at this one and I'm going to click on the tract name. And this brings up my members report. For location, the Hanover is located in the Village 2 tract. And like my subject, they're both located in University Park. For features, both are attached. Neither is gated. Both have community pools, spas, and tennis courts. In the model section, I see there's actually two models that are one story. The Grossmont and the Hanover. The Grossmont is 1,200 square feet, so the Hanover is still closest in size to my subject. I already have a printout of my subject's floor plan, and now I'm going to get a printout of the Hanover floor plan. So I'm going to click here for a full premium report. And here's my premium report. In the model section, I'm going to click on Hanover to get a floor plan. And here's the floor plan for the Hanover model. I'm going to click the print button. This brings up the print dialog box. I've already set my properties and this looks good. So I'm going to click OK. I've printed out two floor plans and placed them side by side. This is my subject. It's a Cambridge model. And this is the Hanover. I think the reason why the Hanover appears to be larger is because of this notch here. Both have three bedrooms. Both have atriums. Both have formal dining rooms. And both have two car garages. To learn more about InsideTrack products, visit us at InsideTrack.net.